Hey, what's going on everyone? It's the RC Genius, and today I'm driving the Animus 18 TR. Here is the Truggy, and I uh, just put the battery in it. I have not used it at all yet, so we're going to drive it a little bit. We're going to see how fast it can go. Now, I don't have a GPS, but uh, we're just going to drive it around, see how fast it can go, and maybe I'll set up a little ramp or something, and we'll just have a little fun with it. So let me turn the remote on. And then turn the truck on, or truggy, or whatever it's called. Truggy, I guess, that's what they call it. Alright, there we go. It's on. I fully charged the battery. Let's get this camera to focus in on the ground. There we go. And let's go ahead and drive it. I think I might, I don't know, I don't know if it needs a little, I think it might need a little bit of steering trim work, um, this is a fun little thing I right hate. this is pretty cool. It's decently fast. I mean, it's not that fast. My other monster trucks could definitely beat it, but it's pretty cool. I'm going to set the camera up so we can go down the street, and then maybe we'll take it onto the track in the back. All right. For such a little vehicle, it's actually really fast. It's very sensitive though, and uh, it changes direction really, really easily. And I think I can actually do a donut with it. Eh, not really. Okay, before the battery dies, let's go to the back, go on the track, and uh, see how I can handle some jumps. Okay guys, so the battery on this vehicle is actually not uh, that that big. It's only an 1100 milliamp hour battery, which is not bad. I'm not going to lie, I actually was just driving it a couple minutes after I just finished that first part in the street. And I'm actually going to drive it in the mulch bed in the front yard a little bit. Not on the track, because the track's actually really muddy. Uh, and I didn't think about that. But I don't think that this little thing can handle the, the mud. But right now it's handling this mulch pretty well. And this mulch is like, you know, bumpy and off-road like for sure. So it's actually hand handling it quite well. Given, you know, the amount of sticks that could get caught in the axles and stuff, I mean, it's, it's actually pretty good. The vehicle handles very well. Um, obviously, the it's so small that the suspension doesn't have a lot of room to go up and down, so it's kind of bumpy. Uh, it definitely is bumpy. Uh, it's also extremely responsive and sensitive, so... If you're driving this, know that it's extremely sensitive, and you might want to turn the steering dual rates down a little bit, um, which you can do on the remote. But overall, this thing, I the reason why I really wanted to get it was because I wanted something I could have without worrying about breaking it and uh, just having fun with. And so I think that this is really... I just hit the camera. I think that this is something that really could be fun. Now, one more thing. Let's turn the camera around, and there's this little rock. And let's see if we can actually hit this rock as a ramp. I don't know how this will work, but it's worth a shot. Let's see. 
I do really like that it's four-wheel drive. I think the four-wheel drive in this scale, uh, being such a mini vehicle, uh, is really nice to have a four-wheel drive. Just got caught on the plant here. Yeah, I don't know how it's going to handle with jumps. Uh, I mean, it's not bad at all. Don't get me wrong, it's really not that bad. But it's just, it's extremely stiff, and now it's running out of battery. Um, but I did drive it a little bit off camera for about five minutes. So, yeah, you can see it's, it's running out of battery now. So, that's pretty much it. So maybe my only suggestion if you were to get this vehicle is maybe get a bigger battery because 1100 milliamp hours is not that much. Uh, however, you have to make sure that uh, the battery is the right size to fit in the chassis because it's a pretty small battery. Um, it, just in size wise, not just in milliamp hours. But, I hope you guys enjoyed this little running video. I didn't go on the track, but it's really muddy and uh, I don't think that would have been really good for this vehicle. This vehicle is waterproof, so if I wanted to clean it off, I could, uh, which I probably will. Uh, but overall, thumbs up for me. I think this little vehicle is actually really fun. I haven't even taken it to its full potential of jumping it or anything. Just driving it in the street and on the mulch here, kind of as an off-road course. I think it handled pretty well, and if you look, um, the tree's in the way. But if you look, there actually is rock and sand mulch, dirt, uh, rocks uh, there, so really this vehicle kind of just saw a little bit of all the terrains that this could be on except for water, however I think that I really like this. Um, so a great beginner vehicle, if anyone's looking into getting an RC, uh, I would definitely suggest getting a little Animus 18, you know, any vehicle, whether it's a monster truck or a short course or the Truggy. Um, the Truggy is definitely more for off-road, the Monster Truck is definitely going to be for more of the jumping because it has bigger tires. I'm sure one day I might get one, but uh, really, I would say get one. It's pretty cheap, it's definitely going to be durable, and uh, it's pretty fun too. So, nothing like the big scale, uh, one-tenth, one-fifth, one-eighth, whatever it is, it's nothing like that at all. However, it's, it's really fun. It's a fun in a totally different way I'd say so definitely check this vehicle out if you're into getting in a new RC for cheap and uh, yeah so thank you everyone for watching please like and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time on the RC Genius